to be the man! You gotta beat the man! This is my yard now. I will fight anyone and everyone. Here he comes! Where is he? Cactus Jack! Your arms are just too short to box with God! Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Few True Heels podcast. My name is Jacob Best in the Realm Hotter. I'm Brian Bryman Peacock. And I am Jeremy the Coach Brooks. That's right, I said the. Fuck you, Jonathan Coachman. You gonna do that every week? Every yeah, freaking week. Jeez. Fuck him. Excuse so much language. angry. I'm not He's angry. So I'm just good, saying. Though. He good. That's why I fucking say fuck him. All right. ESPN didn't want your stupid ass. <laughs> WWE just really wanted him. <clears throat> Bet you he's getting paid big bucks. He ain't getting paid. The only reason they brought him back because it's February. And I ain't getting into that. Why does that matter? Black Hills him up, Jacob. Oh. <laughs> All right, segue into the first story. <laughs> oh, and that's Brucey talk. There you go. <laughs> More story time with Brucey. <laughs> uh, so we got some news here, and then we're gonna talk about the elimination chamber pay per view and do our predictions. Sound good to you guys? Sure. Let's get it done. So the first thing that we can kind of talk about is apparently Apollo Cruz is no longer Apollo Cruz. He is just Apollo. Segway. What? What does that mean? <laughs> oh, no. Same that way mean? go to the next thing? No. Move. You don't, it, Brooks doesn't know what it means, and you didn't get it. So, I think why I is this it. a story? Because uh, it's weird? People change their name. Yeah, didn't they change that one new what? name from Cruiserweights? Which one? I don't know. The one that had the video game entrance. I think I know who you're talking oh, about. Oh, TJ uh, Perkins. Yeah. Now it's TJP. Yeah, so what's the difference? I don't know. Apollo Cruz, I think, was a good name. The Apollo Cruz ain't gonna be there that long. Apollo Cruz can't lose. No, well, I guess that's not a thing. But I was just Apollo. Can't follow Apollo. Unless you swallow. Oh God! Oh, God. Guys, sorry, we don't sorry. need to do that. Sorry, we don't need to do sorry. this. Sorry. I guess none of us are following Apollo. Beep. <laughs> no, that's not getting edited out. Do you know you're the only person I've had to edit on this podcast, and it's been twice. <laughs> twice. Twice. Well, that ain't that bad. Two dams. <laughs> Well, damn, ain't that bad, though. No, 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 no that's what was... he covered you up with. Oh, are you yeah. serious? Yeah. <laughs> hey, yeah, I forgot. Hey, I like that. Thank you, Jacob. Hey, you mentioned me. You're like, hey, I need you to edit this. And it's like, God damn it. <laughs> yeah, I don't want no backlash. I don't want nobody coming to my grandma house with pitchforks and protesting about something stupid. Oh, they didn't put marshmallows in my soup. Well, fuck all that shit, you know? Let's get on before I start rambling. Put marshmallow shit. in my soup? Anyway. You never know, man. You never know. In the hood, you do anything. Oh, my God. So, yeah, I just think it's weird that they took a guy who was doing, like, not that great and then, like, changed his name. That, so that's he, not going to help. I don't know. That, I don't know. He was good at NXT. That's all I say. Yeah, he was great in NXT. <clears throat> you know yeah. who was not great in NXT, but I'm becoming a big fan of now, is Elias. All he did was walk away. Uh, As he walking away. Did you see that segment with him and Braun Strowman? Yeah. It was sent to me because someone told me this is what happens when you put your uh, all your experience from a barbarian into Bard. <laughs> I didn't watch it, but <laughs> basically I did it. Braun Strowman had a giant bass. Mm. Sang a song. That's funny. To Elias, and then broke the base over Elias' back. God damn. Yeah. Those, those things aren't the lightest things it in the world. It was brutal. Yeah. Those things got some girth on it. Mm-hmm. But, um, and Bubba Ray Dudley, which, love the guy to death, he said that they sacrificed Elias to Braun Strowman. To me, that's just them furthering that feud. Sacrifice. Yeah, like they, they like, buried him. Like the Undertaker sacrificed Stone Cold when they hung him on the cross. Yeah, I was going to say, I've yeah. seen some sacrifices. <laughs> like, like when Raven's flock sacrificed the same man, they hung him to the cross, and Kurt Angle was got Maybe not down. quite like that. That was bad. He, he That's a sacrifice. He musically sacrificed him with a bass. <laughs> oh, that, yeah. <clears throat> musical sacrifice. That sounds like a terrible show. I'm going to be honest with you, and I ain't got nothing else to say about that. Braun Strowman doesn't need to be few with him. Why? These Not are two that. guys that are up and coming. They, these are the guys that should Brown be. Brown ain't up and coming. He already coming. Okay. That's <laughs> what we were putting that. Shit. <laughs> Phrasing. <laughs> I'm tired. Sorry, people. But, uh. Oh, my God. 
I don't like the way this stuff going because everybody knows what's going to happen. Everybody Do knows we? who's going to wrestle. Yeah, it's common sense. God, who you think going to be the main event at WrestleMania? AJ Styles and Nakamura and Brock Lesnar and I don't know. I know you know you just don't want to say his name. John Cena or oh, Roman Reigns? Yes, that's what's going to happen. I told y'all in a, a past time, it's going to be Braun uh, uh, Brock Lesnar. And Roman Reigns, that's what they want. Yeah, it's going to be Roman Reigns is they're going to finally officially pass the torch to him. Which it's, I don't hate. I just wish Roman would develop more of a character. No, no. They've I been juggling it. torches with this guy. They need to, they yeah, need to right. let the swords fall from the roof and let the body hit the floor. That's I think savage shit I just said. They I don't need to that. sacrifice Roman and see what happens. They don't need to sacrifice none. They just need to let the people that the people want to win, win. I saw a Cultaholic video. Have who, you been watching them? Who the fuck is that? The former What Culture guys. I, actually, I'm watching a lot of Ras Lama. I have never watched that. I need to. That's very good. Very Cultaholic good is the guys who were originally in What Culture. Adam Pacini, Adam Blompier. I watch them, but I haven't been watching recently. But, uh, well, Cultaholic is like their new thing. But they did a video like the top 10 dream matches WWE could do right now. Fantastic video. One of them that would make Roman Reigns a star is Roman Reigns versus The Rock. Nah. Turn Roman heel. Nah. Don't tell me you wouldn't want to see that feud. No. Nah. You know what? No. Nah. No. Nah. I yeah. Yeah. I'm about it. <laughs> no. Nah. Why are you why are you so against it? No. Nah. He doesn't like Roman. The Ro- Roman Reigns against the Rock? Yeah. Like and bring some family stuff into it? Yeah, absolutely. No. Nah. Nah. Bring Rikishi into it. Bring the Usos into it. You're going to have a big... They thing. already did that shit already. No, actually do it. The Rock was there for like th- five seconds. They, they did it with somebody else about bringing their family and all that shit. They did it back in the day. Well, then they need to do it again. No, it's not... No. <laughs> they Listen, Roman can put on a good match. They need to do something with his character, and he'll be entertaining. Don't... You ain't tired of that son bitch already? Yeah, I'm tired of him. That's well, let's what move on from Roman Reigns. Do something with his character. I don't give two bu- <laughs> Listen, back in the day, people got tired of The Rock. That's why they started booing him, and they made him a heel. Yeah, that was short-lived. This is keep going, son. They need to do something, and they it's might too actually late. get the fans. It's too late with so. Roman Reigns. I don't think so. It's too late. I'm sorry. It's too late. I've just gotten word from the boss that we are too loud. Oh. Tell the boss I apologize. Brooks in particular. Yeah, mainly Brooks. <laughs> but we are being too loud. It's because we're talking about Roman. <laughs> so, yeah, I don't know. Maybe we'll have, that'll have to be a topic one day on how to fix Roman. No, I won't show up for that one. I'm tired of Roman. <laughs> it's too late with him. It's just too late. Brooks, you're too late. It's too late to apologize. It's too, too late. late. She gets, you know what it's too late for? This bullshit we're doing right now. Rich Swan. He's gone. He gone. Oh, I knew I should have bought his figure when I saw it the I other day. He gone. No, I, I thought so too. They just released him? Yeah, they just released him. So is him and Enzo going to be rattling along together? Yeah. <laughs> it should be the both of them for being pieces of shit? <laughs> Enzo, I'm already. Are you guys familiar what happened with Rich Swan? Yeah, he didn't. He like... False imprisonment of a uh, his uh, charges of battery, kidnapping, and false imprisonment. Yeah, he went back to the hood. Apparently, hey, you gotta go where you started from, right? It's really unfortunate. He's uh, he was one of my favorite people to oh, watch. Oh wait, PWG. so what did it, what was what was his uh, charges again? What was it? Battery and kidnapping, false imprisonment. Oh no! <laughs> oh my god. I thought I'd get a Brooks moment in there. You got one. You got one. Damn. <laughs> Can she handle it? I guess not. I'm, it's too, I'm too loud. Stop, bro. Ryan. <laughs> you won't get me in trouble with the boss today again? Fucking stop. I'm too loud. God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> this is uh, the worst. He talked about... <laughs> Fucking somebody fucking a train with the big show or some shit on that one episode. That's worse. That was not my fault. That's Chris blaming me on that crap. <laughs> oh yeah, Chris isn't here. <laughs> Supposed to be on the show. Yep, we lost him. <clears throat> Hold on. 
Chris Braddock is going to be back on very soon, right? Okay, never mind. Yes, because he actually has a couple shows coming up. Fucking Jesus. If it wasn't for uh, the Thalian or LARP that I've committed to, I would definitely be at his show on Sunday, which is Kaiju Big Battle, Ebor. That show looks interesting. Oh my god, I I want to go so bad. Do they normally do Tampa? I don't think so. I think this is the first one in Florida. Okay. And I I was telling uh, my fiance about it, and she was like, "You're not going." I was like, "No, I wish I could." She was, "I would go with you to that." She <laughs> she was like, "That sounds really cool." Didn't go. I was like, "I've committed to sliding door." Is that the same day? Yeah. Yeah. He just said that. I was looking yeah. at some. Pretend like you're on the show. Be professional. I am on the show. God I'm damn it, tripod. <laughs> Let me uh, tell you something, motherfucker. <laughs> that's for the next episode. Go listen to it. Future Villains Podcast. Yeah, that's what I'm Did about. I say villains at the beginning or did I say heels? I hope Who I said heels. Knows? I don't know anymore. This is the wrestling one. If I was smart, I would record an intro to put it at the beginning of our show. <laughs> just in case. That's true. Uh, what were we talking about? <laughs> I don't know. Let's move on. Catch a big battle. Um, so, Chris Braddock. Okay. I had to check myself. Before you wreck yourself? Well, because his mm. real, we know his real name. Mm-hmm. And I was... And <laughs> that's funny that I know him as Chris Braddock, not his real name. <laughs> <laughs> well, oh, I went to go text him earlier, and I'm looking through my phone. I'm like, where is Chris Braddock? Oh, <laughs> wait. <laughs> where is the living arsenal? <laughs> None of these say Living Arsenal. What the hell? So yeah, that'll be good. What's the other show he's going to be at? Kaiju Big Battle on Sunday? And then March 10th, uh, I believe it's o- Ocala Championship Wrestling. Yeah. And, um, yep, I'd like to... I'll, I'm going to try to get to that one. Yeah? Uh, I, I actually like it. I want to go to that one, too. Mm-hmm. And I've got I this... I car on there. It pretty cool. i got this other guy I want to go see out there, too. Uh Name to be uh, remembered. That'll be up to you two, because I'll uh, I'll be working, unfortunately. So hopefully you guys will be able to go to that, and we'll get some a report from it. Yeah, we could probably we'll probably go. It's a Saturday. My Sundays are going to be full from now on, basically. Seems like it. So. Yeah, Saturday should be no big deal, but who knows. Oh, that might be... Uh, birthdays are coming up. Oh, God. <laughs> so, who knows? I have to figure that out off the show. Yeah. Uh, the other bit of big news is Jeff Jarrett. Is he still the owner of TNA? He's involved in management, right? I don't think so. I have no idea. I think he's done with TNA. I hope so. Because Jeff Jarrett is being inducted into the WWE Hall of Fame. And I'm shocked. I thought that was a hoax at first. I'm glad it's happening. I seriously thought, because after watching a couple of videos, watching Wrestle Llama, which is a very cool YouTube channel. Is it Wrestle Rama or Wrestle Llama? Llama. Like the animal. Okay, like the animal. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Very good. If he gives good Is it a llama doing the videos? No, it's... Just fuck it. I don't care. <laughs> I wanted to see either llamas wrestling or llamas talking about wrestling. Kind of funny is trying to start a horse, a wrestling horse league. Bro, what the fuck you talking about? I don't know. (laughs) (laughs) But, uh, actually, you know, to be honest with you, I woke up around 3 o'clock this morning. Thought I was late for work. But I started watching the Rassalama, and they did the top 10 wrestlers that will never, ever come back to the WWE. Uh Uh-huh. And Jeff Jarrett was in the top 10. Now he's getting inducted to the WWE Hall of Fame. Mm Mm-hmm. I think, hey, good kudos. You know, he tried to beat WCW, but never got off the ground with Global Force. Yeah, I was excited for Global Force, too. But... I thought he was going to make some action until I saw a picture of the attendance, and uh, we had yeah. more people at our uh, backyard shows than he had at Global Force. I went I'm to sure. a show, a TNA show, one of their big one night only shows, and there was like nobody there. And nobody knew about it. No, that one was very heavily promoted. I didn't know about it. This was years ago. I still didn't know about it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you still don't know about it. <laughs> there we go. I'm still trying to find what the hell they had at Universal. I did get to see Matt Hardy versus Austin Aries. That was that's, pretty awesome. Yeah, that's 
Well, they're free though, right? Yes. Definitely worth the price. Yes. Worth the price of admission. But yeah, even was, better when it's free. That that was that was worth it because yeah, I got to see Matt Hardy versus Austin Aries. Got to see uh, Mia Yim. Got to see uh, Gail Kim. Got to see a lot of women's wrestler. Wanted to see because it was a, a women's show. I'm sure, put some Gail and Hook in. What? Nothing. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, I'm happy about TNA. Uh, I guess letting Jeff Jarrett do this or him not being involved in TNA at all anymore. I have no idea. It's just him and Vince probably made up. <laughs> yeah. At the end of the day, good for you, man. Yeah, because <laughs> right now he is kind of responsible for a lot of. Uh, I say responsible. I don't know, like AJ Styles and Samoa Joe and mm-hmm. TNA is definitely where they became big stars. I would say. I mean, ROH was definitely good to Samoa Joe. Oh, yeah. But I think he definitely. probably got in front of a lot more eyeballs in TNA. I won't give in. I won't I give in. I think that's the victorious. first time I saw him. Was... Yeah, because I knew too, I knew about TNA before I found out about Ring of Honor. His uh, Wikipedia page does not say that he's left Global Force Wrestling. He might still own it, but just kind of letting it... Letting it die. Okay, so here's a question. Do they talk about TNA and Global Force at the Hall of Fame? No. That's what I'm wondering. They ain't gonna let him do that. But he's gonna do it anyway. No, nah, they ain't gonna let him do it. That'd be pretty crazy. Or, or, do we find out that Vince McMahon has bought Global Force Wrestling? For what, like, 20 bucks? Yeah, we should probably jump on the... Who's gonna buy it? Yeah. So that, that, I don't know, there's a lot of interesting things circling around that. That might be much bigger than it seems. It is pretty interesting. I can't wait till it all fall out in place. Mm-hmm. I would definitely not be watching the Hall of Fame, but I'll, you know, I'll look at the other day. I usually watch it. I don't watch it. It's too long. I don't watch, like, bits of it or watch clips. Well, I like it, watching it, the speeches. It depends who's getting inducted. Yeah. Like, if it's somebody that, like, oh, I love it, I'll watch it. I'll watch Jeff Jarrett. Like, I watch, I watch the Austin War. I watch him because he was my role model. I watched Farouk because he was my other role model. Everybody watched Stone Cold. The Rock didn't yeah. get inducted yet, did he? I watched Kurt Angles. The Rock? I watch. Yeah, I watched Kurt Angles. Mm-hmm. I watch him. I, mean, I ain't watch anybody else. It's, it's certain people that you watch on, on uh, I don't know. They used to them long. It's like a, a church service. Right. <laughs> So, so far we have Jeff Jarrett. Uh, here's an article, but it's saying spoilers. I got a question to ask you. Oh, yeah. is it spoil? How can okay, it be spoilers, yeah. though? All right, so one name is Ivory. She definitely deserves to get in there. Ivory is so hot. Oh, my God. Mark Henry. My dad was so lucky to have her by his head. <laughs> uh, Kid Rock? You know, I got some. I got. I don't like this celebrity crap. No. No. They only in there for like three weeks, and they get inducted to the Hall of Fame. Three weeks. Most of these people probably show up once. Who yeah, but Kid Rock did perform. He must have. American Badass for the Undertaker, though. Is that not worth it? It's a song. He ain't do nothing to help. That's it. Yeah, the, the American Badass song. Yeah. But what, what, what did he do uh, we got to mute our phones, but someone doesn't have to mute his laptop. Yeah, you know, the microphone probably didn't even pick that up, so. I picked it up. <laughs> probably I'm missing new features, according to my windows. Oh. It's like what? It's Get like those features. Right. The man made a theme song for uh, Undertaker. That's worth the Hall of Fame? Actually, I don't even think he made the... I'm going to... I understand where you're coming from, but I'm going to call a little bit of bullshit, or saying that this is okay. Kid Rock's getting inducted because he's worked with WWE's Tribute to the Troops show multiple times. That's Hall of Fame worthy to me. Is JBL in the Hall of Fame? Fuck that guy. He started. He probably is. Started what? The Tribute to the Troops. Oh, well, fuck him still. (laughs) So you saying fuck the dude that started something special? Vince McMahon started it. JBL started it. I'll have to look into that. Look at it right now. I will. Fact check. Fact check him. Yeah, I'm fact checking right now. Don't worry about it. Bam, bam, Bigelow. He going in? Yup. I respect that. Hell yeah. That's one of the biggest dude, the most. He's like Vader. 
Well, he's bigger. terrifying. I was terrified of him as a kid. Yeah, you want to know what's the sad thing about it? Bam Bam died in our area. Yeah, I actually... He got hit. He got in a car wreck in Hudson. I didn't know that. Bam Bam Luna. Bam? Yeah, I was asked to go to the funeral, actually. Oh, yeah? Yeah. I didn't go. I didn't have a car, but... Damn, dude. Because uh, the person who... <clears throat> Gave me the invitation. I would talk. I was talking about him about how supposedly uh, Brian Nobbs is my cousin, mm-hmm. and he's like, "You're probably right," because <laughs> uh, I my family told me that like my entire life. They still swear it up and down, but I'm I'm still kind of skeptical. But I have to figure out one of these days and get him on the show. Yeah, I mean, I'll, I'll try. <laughs> I think I've wrote him before, but he was probably like, "Yeah, sure, guy." Yeah, sure, kid. Yeah. You know, you're a huge fan of me. Yeah. <laughs> so, and I didn't know this one, but the Dudley Boys. Are they going out? Yeah, that's right cool. away. All right, that's nice. A little bit of ECW getting represented in the Hall of Fame. Yeah, Bam Bam and the Dudleys. Mm-hmm. Hell yeah. The Dudleys, way deserve it. They're still contributing a lot to wrestling with their school. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Uh, they actually... Can't remember, what culture or cultaholic just put out a video recently of like 10 wrestlers you were surprised who they'd be trained by? Mm-hmm. And the Dudleys, I can't remember who, trained somebody. Shit. All right, cool. Yeah, that's good information, huh? Yeah. That was... <laughs> but like, it was stuff like Finn Balor trained the, Becky Lynch. The more you know. <laughs> yeah. Well, Finn Balor trained Becky Lynch. Uh, that's cool. I did know that, though. But yeah, I like I like knowing that. Yeah, the Dudley boys, they were at the semi. Yep, yep. Uh, the Mounties trained Kevin Owens. Yep. Savio Vega trained uh, Sami Zayn. Really? Yeah. Hmm. That's weird. Okay. Yeah, no, there's that that whole list was like weird people trained this person. <laughs> One guy was like a mega jobber, never won a single match, I don't think, and he trained somebody. Again, good information. Go watch the video. I <laughs> uh, should have looked more into that. And then the headliner. It's going to be Bill fucking Goldberg. Which I say well-deserved. Probably should have happened while he was in wrestling. Yeah. But. Who cares? Who cares, really? <laughs> you don't like cool. Goldberg? I love Goldberg. I'm just playing. I love Goldberg in small doses. Good job, I guess. I like Goldberg when he was in WCW. Yeah. Before he was defeated. Yeah. Well, I like the whole thing. Because when he got defeated, he started kicking people's asses even more. Yeah. Then when he came in WWE, it's like, it was just handed to him. I have to win on Goldberg. Yeah. Now we can add Jeff Jarrett to that list. That's a pretty good list. Is that it? But there'll probably be more. Yeah, there should be more. I bet there's going to be a bigger name. I mean, so far the biggest name for me, I think, is the Dudleys, but... Well, literally the biggest name is Goldberg. Yeah, I guess. He's the headliner. Yeah, that's yeah, true. I know the biggest, man. the biggest name is Goldberg because, because everyone knows Goldberg. But yeah. to me, the biggest name is uh, Kid Rock. LA. I know, I know you love Kid Rock. No, I don't disrespect Kid Rock, but I'm sick of this celebrity shit. But anyway, the biggest name should be the Dudley Boys and Bam Bam. Yeah. Especially Bam Bam, a guy his size doing flips. Doing all that other stuff and the Dudley Boys. You did the moonsault, right? You know, yeah. A lot of people talk about, you know, Ed and Christian and the Harder Boys changed tag, tag team uh, wrestling. And I ain't saying they didn't. But you got to put the Dudley Boys in that too. Yeah, well, I think they're definitely included in that conversation. But like, you hear, you, you just hear a lot like, oh, Ed and Christian and the, Dudley, the Harder Boys did this and that. But you look at the screen, there's Bubba Dudley right there in the ring with him. Oh, yeah, absolutely. It was the three yeah. of them, the three of those teams. Man, it just, I love them. I, they deserve it. They deserve it. Absolutely. Now, coming up soon, and this will be good for, I think, our schedules, but I don't know if it's good for wrestling. I feel like it's not. Is we're going to just be getting, I think, one pay-per-view a month, and both brands will be on that show. I like it. Yeah? Me too. Yep. Schedule-wise or wrestling-wise? Both. Yeah? It's bringing back to the old days. Yep. I don't think there should be separate brands anyway. It's stupid. So. The separate brands, crap, is stupid level. Was was smack now? Oh, nobody. Want, I want to see both. You know, I don't know. I'm so, do you want just one WWE champion? 
this is how this is what I want to do. If I if I was in charge, if we're gonna have Raw and SmackDown, have a Raw champion and a SmackDown champion, then have a Raw heavyweight champion. Okay. So I'm a, I'm gonna throw his names out. Finn Balor could be Raw champion. AJ Styles could be SmackDown champion. Then Brock Lesnar could be a world champion. Okay. Then have tag team Raw, tag team SmackDown, Raw tag team. So I have the brand champions, then have the WWE champion. You know? That's almost too many belts. Well, how many wrestlers WWE got right now? Might as well use them all. Maybe. They ain't using all the wrestlers on their roster. No. So maybe But that's going to get worse now that there's only one pay-per-view. That, that's perfect. They did that back in the day and it worked. Yeah, but they had dramatically less people back in the day. Nah, when Invasion came, they had a lot more people, and they still made it. That work. was too much. There was, there's never been, and there never will be a lack of wrestlers. Never. Now, how many do they choose? Never to pay? have. Been. Did you watch Randy Orton and John Cena's long fucking run? No, the w- <laughs> I'm saying there's well, that's, never that's a lack of. That was boring as fuck. Professional wrestlers. The how many they actually use? Okay. I fucking hate it. I can't stand it. That's why I don't watch it. I don't know why I'm even doing this podcast. I don't watch it anymore. Because <laughs> I can't. Because <laughs> it's it's the same fucking people every goddamn day, and I no longer give a shit. I like that. Like I'm getting to the point where I don't even care that it's AJ Styles and Nakamura. I like do it, it doesn't even matter. And anymore. I don't even care that it's Sami Zayn and Kevin Owens against AJ Styles every fucking Tuesday. Yeah, like why? Because that's getting boring. I told you last time, shit getting boring. It's just, it's them three. With Brian, uh, I'm about to say Brian Danielson, Daniel Bryan, and Ben uh, Shane, and the crap get boring. It's it getting is. stupid. It's boring and stupid, and I don't watch it. <laughs> it's like literally, the only reason I watch SmackDown is because of Usos. Yeah. Cause I want to see what they talk about, and but, I like watching Gable and and, and uh and uh who's with him? Um, Shelton Benjamin. Yeah. Do you? They're good wrestlers. No, they're great wrestlers, but their chemistry is weird. I don't care about the chemistry. I just like the moves they do. I like Gable's finisher. That crap is awesome. I don't even know what it's called. Talking about the, um... Oh, my God. He's not using the angle slam, right? No, he, uh... Hold on. Suplex? It's I don't a suplex know. where he, he slams... And he keeps it, rolls with it, then does another suplex. Yeah, I can't think of oh, what he calls rolling it. Oh, rolling suplex. He calls uh, it something. Yeah, he calls it something. I know it's a rolling suplex, but I don't know what he called it. The Gable rolling suplex. I don't know either. <laughs> but now, but that's, that's a pretty nice move. Now, I'm sure I'm sure you know about this, but I don't know if you made the connection. You may have and just, you're like, all right, fine. Like, it wasn't a big deal to you. But I, I just recently gonna... found out why his last name is Gable. Because he's Abel? <laughs> no. He's a... His gimmick is he's an amateur wrestler. It might not even be a gimmick. He he's probably he legitimately is. is. He legit is, yeah. Yeah. But I didn't know... He's a baby Kurt Angle. I didn't know that is a Gable grip. Look I up just Gable grip that. and that's what Brian's doing right yeah. now. Yeah. Because I know, I I'm doing it in front of the microphone so you can hear it. That's right. Do you know, hear I this? What, I know what a Gable grip is. I ain't know that's why. What, Chad Gable. That's... I didn't realize that, to be honest with you. Okay, yeah. Because I was oh. sitting there. Do you know who Mike Tester is? Yeah. Yeah, I was sitting there talking with him. And like he was drunk as hell, like always. And he was doing. He was showing me. He was like, you do this. Because I, 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 like, I gripped him like this. He said, don't, don't ever do that. I was like, I promise you that's not going to break, but I'll do this. Um, he's like, yeah, that's the Gable grip. I'm like, oh, it's the what? He's like, yeah, it's called the Gable grip. I'm like, hmm. I, was, I was like, do you want it? I was like, oh, no, I, I, I get it. And apparently he likes wrestling too. And so, so he's like, yeah, yeah, that's probably why he... I ain't never thought about that. That's good yep. enough. The Gable grip. Gable grip. He's Gable. He's able. I, I, I think I already talked about that on the previous show, so we don't have to go into it again. He's glorious. I won't give in. I won't give in. I don't like either one of these guys. Actually, <laughs> right, let's go. I really don't like Bobby Roode. I love his music, though. I started singing it as a thing, but we won't get into that. 
I feel like th- them putting it to one pay-per-view a month is bad because they're not going to get as many matches. You're not going to see as many guys that need to be seen. If That's you, my whole if problem. If you're with putting it. out numbers and fans, it doesn't matter if you're going to see the same way. people. It's not like someone's going to get a new chance. We're going to get Roman Reigns. Way Rain. less of a chance now. He ain't going to get no WWE. There wasn't a good no chance to be Universal cha- a title change. So you <laughs> might as well forget about that. Yeah. The women's championship on Raw ain't going to change. You might as well forget about that. Who's champion on Raw? Sexy. Sexy, sexy. Charlotte? She on SmackDown. Oh, okay. Unless I can't it, keep a track of who's who, where. See, oh, and okay. that's why there shouldn't be two shows. Because you can't that's keep track fair. of who's who's that's, where. They just, look, See, what they, they just need to go back to where everybody was on Raw, everybody was on SmackDown, everybody was on Sunday Night Heat, everybody was on Saturday Night Main Event. What I do like the idea of is the Intercontinental U.S. belt, at least the very least the U.S. belt, don't feel super important. If we had a WWE champion and then the second tier belt was the Intercontinental belt, then that would be way more important. If we had less belts, it wouldn't be so bad. Nah. Yeah. I like thought it was belts. back in the day. It was more you're, belts. You're captain back in the day. <laughs> it was more belts back in the day. No. Cruise away. I think the the only reason there's more belts now is because there's two shows. Yeah. And like there has to be two tag team champions. There was there more belts be... back in the day than one it is now. I would say definitely not. You, we don't have the hardcore, we have the cruise away. There's more there were more diverse belts. Yes, there was way more right. diverse belts. Okay. Now it's like anybody can be any champion at any time. Even fucking Santino Morello was women's champion. <laughs> but now anybody can't be a champion at any time. Unless you like want a certain can. brand. No, well, you can't. Well, again, yes, that's true. If you want to be in a Continental Championship, you got to be on Raw. What I'm saying is if we go back to 12 pay-per-views a year, we should get rid of the brands. I think it's kind of unfortunate, but I think there's also too many belts, and some of the belts just aren't important. And put the tag team divisions together. Women's division less. together. Yeah. Everything y'all saying, I like what? They, they they need to add more belts to make them up. More better. diverse belts. Y'all, fuck, more diverse belts. Damn. This, okay, this is how it should be. No, because w- like... Go ahead, go ahead. WWE champion, Brock Lesnar. Whatever. AJ Styles. It should be AJ Styles. Because Brock's pretty much done after WrestleMania, I think. And so, WWE champion, top dog, main event guy. Intercontinental champion, before the main event. Maybe a U.S. championship belt? Maybe? But at least a cruiserweight belt. And then, I want to say a hardcore belt, but we let's face it, that's never going to happen. So that's why it needs to be a tag team championship and the women's championship. Now they need to bring more belts. Because they, they, if you're going to add the cruiserweights and you got NXT... NXT's that, not even included. NXT's yeah, but when, you, when them guys come up, it's going to be more wrestlers on the main roster. But a lot of those wrestlers like Aleister Black and Johnny Gargano and Tommaso Ciampa are cruiserweights. So, so that's why they if would you talk about getting rid of Raw Smith now, they might as well get rid of Cruiseways and put them on the main roster too. Like they did back in the day. They could. They 100% could. Then, hey, add a Cruiseways and add a European title back again. Your, yes, the UK. There you go. Not the hardcore belt, the UK no, belt. No, keep the hardcore because you still got You the can't. Team. The hardcore is not going to happen. You never yeah. know. Because it's not going to happen. And when Triple H take over, it will. Because Triple H ain't going to keep this PD no, shit going. Because Triple H likes money. And they made more money in Attitude Era than they No, did. they didn't. The only reason they made more now because the network. That's right, the network and brand deals. If the network deals. was there in the Attitude Era, shit. We still no, be Attitude no Era. networks would carry a blood-soaked show anymore. Man, you stupid, man. You crazy. As a separate True. show on the network, though? As a separate show on the network? You gonna put a hardcore show on the network? Why not? And out, what, you gonna put fucking... Uh, Oh, what is Why do you think a lot of people watch them that way? They watch the old stuff that had that. See, but see, this... You my think someone's going to go back and watch fucking Fastlane? I am biased. <laughs> no. I am biased here because I am 100% with... You need to watch the last of the McGinnis documentary. I'm 100% with Nigel. We need no blood or less blood in wrestling. Because it's such a problem. It's sometimes. already there. Yeah, I know. Yeah, that's it, how it should be. You get no blood, and you get people, wrestlers getting pushed in our face, and we don't give a shit no more. Blood should be reserved for major feuds. 
blood should be reserved for, you know, like, two guys that hate each other, which, like, never happens, I feel like. Blood should be mm-hmm. reserved for the first thing that comes to mind for modern wrestling, The Miz and Daniel Bryan. Because those two guys hate each other. Blood and, ain't for everybody. No, it's not. And I don't see blood in them two futures. Them two? I could. I don't. The way that you've seen their feud has been incredible. The and Miz, they haven't even the wrestled. The Miz is too of a pretty boy to have his shit split open. I don't agree. I think the, the Miz would 100% do I don't it. I think he would. Out of anybody in this generation, John Cena is the only one that will open his skull up. I think, no. AJ Styles would. Finn Balor would. They, them two ain't part of this generation. They've been wrestling for them. You're talking about this generation. I'm talking the, about the current the, crop of wrestling. I'm talking about, you know, no, I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about. You're talking about John Cena, Randy Orton, The Miz, those guys. Yeah. Randy Orton, what? Did you see Rock? I ain't talking about Randy Orton. Okay. Right. Randy Orton got thrown on tax. Randy Orton he got did. thrown on, he got freaking put through bottom well, You could just say function. Randy Orton wrestled mankind. <laughs> and, and you got wrestlers now that I don't want to get put through that. I think The Miz would. I really do. I don't think he would. He I'll more, have to he, ask him. Look, he, <laughs> he more he more worried about making movies and all that shit. He don't want to mess up his figure. See, that's the difference between our era of wrestling and the era of wrestling right now. They more worry about making movies and keeping their figure than going out there and giving us what we want. Okay. We still yeah. get great wrestling, though. Not all the time, like you did back in the day. No, we don't. <laughs> Sometimes, if we're lucky. You... you, you Watch, who it watch. Is. No, it it doesn't even. I don't even know what. You know how you get great on. match because you see the same fucking people every time. So the chemistry is always going to be great because they're wrestling every fucking Tuesday, I, every fucking Monday. I think when I saw the Nakamura Kevin Owens match, I think that, I think that's when I gave up on wrestling again. You saw great matches before there was in WWE. Yeah, because, yeah. Because when we saw in WWE, this shit went to squat. It's. When, when, I think it's. Go ahead. When we saw Kevin Owens versus Nakamura, that Ring of Honor they had match. They okay match. Oh, no, I'm sorry. You're talking Ring about Ring of Honor. Honor. I thought you were talking about SmackDown. One of, one of the best matches I've ever seen. Sure. Super beyond entertaining. When they announced that match, I was fucking hyped. That match happened, and it was all right. I was like, what the fuck was that? The Ring of Honor match? No, when they had okay. their WWE match, I was like, what the fuck did I just watch? Why did I waste my goddamn time watching that? And you know, if you think about it, back in the day, there was always a title match. Every belt. If you look at it now, it's always the open challenge for the U.S. title. The open challenge for the Intercontinental title. But you don't see the main champion there. Yeah, Brock, no. That's got to change after WrestleMania. And you don't see the women's title getting changed or nothing like they used to back in the day. That's when wrestling was good. When anything could happen... That's that's how it should be. When Vince McMahon, Vince McMahon's a big thing, anything can happen. Now it's like, you want some cotton candy, Johnny? <laughs> you know what? That is a great line. <laughs> <laughs> that, like, if you think about it, that makes a lot of fucking sense. Sit and think on that for a minute. You being a smart ass? No, I'm not actually. Oh, okay. <laughs> it sounds like I am, but no, for I real. I thought you were. It's the truth. That is wrestling right now. It's like, you want some cotton candy, John? You, we used to go to wrestling events and oh hell yeah, oh oh crap, the belt changed on Raw. I can't wait to what happened next Monday. So now it's like you can't keep me down. Oh, they ran out of Dots and Hots at their damn ice cream shop. I want a hot Make dog. Make sure you buy your T-shirt on your way out. Oh my goodness, you know this. You know what the name of this episode is? <laughs> We're old and angry. <laughs> I'm getting pissed off to be honest with you. Me too. I'm fucking pissed. <laughs> This shit pisses me off talking about it. Here, okay, here's going to be my two cents on this whole thing. We have better wrestlers in the WWE now than we ever have. We but have we don't better, know that. We have better entertainers than we ever have. Yeah. We need something to happen. Because you're right. That <clears> the <throat> match with like Kevin Owens and Nakamura was very telling. What's going to be even more telling is Nakamura versus AJ Styles at WrestleMania. If, if it even happens, I'm not going to believe that match happens until the bell rings and one of them do their pen at WrestleMania. Because I'm still convinced something's going to happen. Someone is going to, John Cena is going to show up 
This is this is my prediction. John Cena, Dolph Ziggler, um, Randy Orton, somebody along those lines, AJ Styles and Nakamura are gonna be in a big promo for WrestleMania. You with me on this? This is what's happening on SmackDown. <laughs> big promo. <laughs> I'm so hyped for WrestleMania. Ooh, that's my dog! Sorry. And John Cena says, I want in that match. Okay, it's a triple threat at WrestleMania now. Like they're doing the women's? What are they doing with the women's? The same thing you just said, basically. Oh, God. If Tina, what's not Tina, uh, <laughs> Tina. I said Tina, Tina Turner. If, uh, it's for the Raw Championship, I think it is. Yeah, if, Tina's uh, on Raw. If, uh, <laughs> shut up. <laughs> what's the, if Nia Jax beat, wins a match at Elimination Chamber, it's going to be a three way title match for the women's title. Okay. But let me let me say something about your two cents. You are correct. They are great entertainers in a soap opera era. Because that's no. all we get. getting. There's no soap opera. There's it no story. Soap opera. That's the problem. How many fucking matches you see when you watch Raw SmackDown? Oh, that's way better than it used to be. You can't. Now, there is no soap is, opera. That's the problem. It's, it's more at least it's a crappy, than wrestling. It's a crappy soap opera. That's true. There are. I want the soap opera to come back. I want to. There go. was no soap opera back in the day. They said what they had to say, and they went to the fucking ring and wrestled. They said what they had to say. That's the soap opera. Not like it is now. But the the soap opera. Okay, what I'm saying is, it needs to be a good soap opera. I need to care about the story. I don't care about the story. Okay. What's okay. happening on Raw tonight? Who fucking knows? What happened last week? Who fucking knows? It's three hours long. Who I'll tell you what happened shit? last week. This is how I would book Raw. What happened last week, we talked about it earlier. Braun Strowman kicked the shit out of Elias. He broke that base over his back. What's going to happen this week between the two of them? They're probably going to have a promo, and they're going to make a match, and Braun Strowman's going to kill Elias. That's what's going to happen tonight, and I it's, bet. it's been like that forever. And there's the same be, two people wrestling every day. Right, and there's going to be a match this weekend. One of them will win, and then Braun Strowman's going to start feuding with someone else. What should happen tonight is Elias should be bandaged up. He got that face busted over him. He's hurt. He needs to show up and somehow screw Braun Strowman over so that he's injured for this Sunday. That happened between Braun Cannon and Braun Lesnar. Hmm? Elias needs to somehow already, injure. Already happened. Last pay per view. How do you mean? Braun Strowman, Kane, and Brock Lesnar did the same exact thing you just did. You just said. How? Say what you just said again. <laughs> who injured who? Kane go out there and wrestle Braun Strowman. Brock Lesnar come out. Fuck him up. Promo next Sunday. Next Monday. Kane and Brock Lesnar going to bat fighting. Braun Strowman come. Throw the Titantron over them. They both come back bandage up. Right, shit. okay. Yeah, that was... Braun Strowman come, flips the table over Kane. They should be going at each other. It's not... Ah, uh, Jacob. Am I wrong, or... It's the same shit, just different people now. Yeah, you can't do that. <laughs> there has to be a reason for it, is what I'm trying to... They have no reason. They're just throwing the same shit. They're just different characters. Mm-hmm. See, back in the day, they went out there. Stone Cold said we had to say the middle of the ring. Then you had a match. Then you had another match. Then you had another promo. Then you had, a, you know, a bikini contest or some shit. Then you had another promo. Then you had another match. The match got interrupted, so they made another match. They had more wrestlers in it. It was more matches back in the day than there are now. You probably at least get three matches, three or four matches. Now, back in the day, you probably had like six. Probably less than six. And there was good, actually good matches. You don't see... Every time you turn on Raw or SmackDown. Right. This new era of wrestling, when I've stepped back into it, or started to, I watched Raw. And I think this was actually the last full Raw I watched. Um, on cable. And uh, I watched it and I timed it. Three hours long. Yeah. 15 minutes of wrestling. I timed it. Literally timed it. Like I always say, less talking, more wrestling. And they have started doing more wrestling. Not really. I think there's that, a little just, more. Just to, just, just to me, Jacob. It's still just not me. enough. Uh, hey, I understand what you're saying. I completely do, but growing up in this shit, man, we all grew up in it. 
And we all know what can be best for it, but... We're also older. We're all older. I get that. <laughs> I get that. But if you want to utilize the great talent you have now, you they're not utilizing these people. It's the same shit. Right. It's the same shit. Every, every freaking week, it's the same stuff. So that guy that we know that murdered the indie scene is never going to get shown on TV unless he's in the Royal Rumble or out there jogging for somebody. So how would you pitch a... Let's say, let's say uh, Ricochet coming in. Incredible indie wrestler. He comes, he's coming onto the main roster. How, do, what's his, how's his first, how does his first feud go? Just like Chris Jericho did with The Rock. Interrupt somebody famous. Okay. Make yourself known from the start. Right, interrupt AJ Styles. AJ Styles? If it, hey, it seemed like every time somebody new come to Miz go after him, so take Miz Bill. Miz ain't gonna be wrestling for no longer shit. He getting old too. He's about to have a kid. Yeah. So somebody got stuff for being the Intercontinental Champion. It's it's hard to do it because both belt all the belts are on different brands, so you gotta pick a brand. Yeah. So I like having just one brand. There's no more brands, just everybody on one show. So if you got a feud with somebody on Raw, you can keep that feud going on SmackDown. Right. That would be better for storyline lines too. They just need more. They just need to write. They need everything. That's just me. You know, ain't nothing gonna change. Well, it, they, they, they don't want to go back to the way we like it. They want to attract the younger generation. But at the end of the day, we'll see. Because Triple H is taking over two or five live. So let's see how that show goes. And if Vince starts starts to step away for XFL, somebody's got to take over WWE. And it's probably gonna be Triple H. We'll see. Because that's in 2020. So we got at least two more years with this shit. Yeah, and, we, and, we, and we're gonna lose a lot of good wrestlers from now mm. between 2020. Mm-hmm. I think we're also gonna gain a lot of good wrestlers. Nobody ain't gonna want to come here if it's the same shit. Everyone's coming why here. Would Ricochet, wanna, why, War why, Machine. Why would you, why would you want to leave? And they, and look, you just say who? Uh, War Machine. Yeah. Well, who are y'all talking about from NXT? I was a badass tag team. The Ascension. Now what they doing? No, no. Yeah. You want the same shit to happen to War Machine? No. Case in point. Let's move on. All right. <laughs> That's so, a, hey, hey, fuck. Let's just quickly go over Elimination Chamber Sunday and who you guys think is going to win. By the way, right now on Raw, they're having a gauntlet match with everybody in the Chamber match. See, Why? That's that's how it is now. Every time a pay-per-view come, they basically have everybody fight that's fighting on a pay-per-view. Did you watch Raw last week? No, I, I don't know okay. what the hell I did last week. I, I did watch it. And like I even and I, oh actually I did but I turned off after eight thirty okay they didn't announce the gauntlet match they announced it like during the week it was, it was stupid because all they're gonna do is talk about was elimination shit and I I just looked it up it's the match is happening right now but I still can't find why they're doing it I just said just because every it, they, all they're doing is trying to promote that pay per view so yeah, everybody but, everybody that's gonna be in the pay per view are gonna wrestle each other we already know who's gonna like. I think the feuds are better are the ones, and I guess now I'm going back on what I said earlier. I like the feuds where they either kick the shit out of each other and it's a bloodbath or, you know, a major, major match. Or it's a, a nice ass-kicking match. Yeah. Uh, or the dudes never touch for weeks. And then when they finally do get to fight... They know, still fuck it up like that now. I like it. If they did that, that would be cool, but they would still fuck it up. But it's just weird that, like, these guys are going to wrestle Sundays. So why are they wrestling all of them tonight? Because they're just trying to get Roman Reigns all amped up and shit so he can take over now. That's all they're doing. They're getting, they're getting their superstar ready for Sunday. Apparently, Vince McMahon is very high on AJ Styles. So I would be totally fine with AJ Styles being the face of the WWE. That bitch how, right? <laughs> so anyways, we're going to have... Also, Ronda Rousey signing her contract Sunday. I don't give a shit about that. No? No, that shit gets shit. No. It's what? mixing things up. It's she's, stupid. She's That's doing what, what now? She's setting her contract Sunday. For Raw. For what? To join Raw. To, yeah, to join Raw. And it's Something's going to happen. That's stupid. It's ridiculous. I don't like it at all. So she's signing a contract, but she's already showed up? Yeah. They don't let people, just anybody, into the ring. So no, they they Obviously, it's <laughs> been a contract. It's, that's sign. why I'm saying it's a storyline thing. It's stupid. Something's gonna happen. And I know it's just that a should happen first. <laughs> I know it's because of who she is. Yeah, absolutely. But as people like us, 
They I oh, know mine. You know you know who's winning Elimination Chamber Day? Well hold on. The Cult of Takai. That's who's winning. Listen to the next podcast to find out more. Hey, okay. Well, then we're gonna get Asuka versus Nia Jax, which is the one you mentioned earlier, correct? And whoever wins yeah. If if Nia Jax wins, it's gonna be a triple threat match at WrestleMania. Between who? Nia Jax, Asuka and Alexa Bliss. Okay. That's I mean, if Nia Jax win. If she don't, it's just them two. That that I feel like that invalidates Asuka's Royal Rumble win a little bit, right? Nia Jax lost, but she still gets a shot. It's always been like that now. But that's and that's exactly what I was saying earlier. That's very annoying. John Cena or somebody could just show up and be like, "I want him." It's been like that since they started the PG era. That's what I'm trying to tell you. It's the same shit. It's all that shit's also happened forever. Hulk Hogan did it years ago. No, that's with Hulk Hogan. He started the whole shit. He basically made it what it is. But Hulk Hogan wasn't throwing off faces like everybody else is now. Hulk Hogan started one of the damn best factions in the fucking wrestling. But he ain't started. I would say Scott he, Hall and Kevin say, Nash. Let me, let me rephrase. Let me rephrase that. <laughs> Hulk Hogan did not start the Bullet <laughs> Club. Can I? Damn. <laughs> or Degeneration X. That too. Who was better? NWO or Degeneration? Degeneration X. I'll give you because they ran it down and didn't see them. But he was a part of one of the and if he didn't join right, the, the NWO. Mega powers. Huh? The Mega Powers. Whatever. If he didn't join the NWO, the NWO wouldn't have took off like it did. That's probably true. That's no, that's the damn true. Because it's Hulk Hogan. Wasn't it supposed to be Sting? It was, but Sting didn't want to do it. Yeah. But, like, when the match, I like, when Hulk Hogan faced the Rocket WrestleMania 18. Yeah. That's that's some good shit. And the few they had lead up to that was perfect. It was perfect. One snuck up on the other one, the other one snuck up on the other one. And she could promo both of them in the face of NWO, jump the Rock. The Rock had Stone Cold come down and help him and shit. Beautiful. Then, boom, WrestleMania came. It was, the, it was a freaking awesome match. Then the NWO turned on Ho Hogan. So Ho Hogan went back to old Ho Hogan. Beautiful. Everybody loved it. Everybody was talking about it for days. You don't see that shit now? No. Brock Lesnar versus Goldberg is probably the closest thing to that. That was just a waste of fucking time. That's what I know. But it's just, Even if I guess that's the closest. Was... Turnover, you know. Now, you also have the women's championship match in the Elimination Chamber, which I'm pretty excited for. It's Sasha Banks, Bailey, Mickey James, Sonya Deville, Mandy Rose, and Alexa Bliss. That could be kind of interesting. Yeah. It could it could be a win win situation. It could be a dumpster fire. I, I think it'll be good. I hope it will. I think Alexa will retain. Because they just had a hell of a wrong rumble. Okay, who do you think is going to win at Oscar Nia Jax? I'm going to say Oscar. Yeah. Because she's and she won't be undefeated anymore. She needs to be undefeated going into Mania. You'd think so. I probably would say Nia. No? I'd say Nia's, Nia's gonna Jax. beat her? Because if Nia Jax win, Oscar loses an undefeated streak. Oscar will go in there and just rip heads. Make it more better. Yeah. It also gives Nia a nice push. Because when the last time we saw Alexa Bliss rest? Uh, October. Kurt Angle told us. <laughs> um, she doesn't make the matches. <clears throat> yeah. That's true. So the Kurt Angle don't make matches true. either. Shit. He does. I mean, storyline wise. Stephanie Man does. Is, so what did Kurt do? Just go out there and boss people around. But <laughs> if hey, he bosses people around, but at the, if you think about it, it goes through Stephanie. That's what the, that crap is with the Jane Manager and and this crap and that crap. And the more I think about it, the one that match kind of sucks. Oscar versus Nia Jax, because they both lose. No matter what. Oscar's either going to lose her undefeated streak or Nia Jax is just going to get buried. They ain't no what they're trying to do. I just hope they don't mess it up for the women. Well, there's a no contest. I don't know. I, I think they already messed up by letting Ronda Rousey just come straight to the main roster. You, what, you want her to go to NXT? Yeah, she need to develop. Just because you step out of an MMA ring don't mean you can be a wrestler like that. Look at CM Punk. He stepped out of the wrestling She's going to be in development. She's been training. That don't mean she ready. They just they pushing up there because of her name. Yeah, that absolutely. That's stupid. She won't go. She won't go there and get embarrassed. When you get when you get a star that big, when Rob Gronkowski gets signed to WWE, he's gonna do the same thing. Rob Gronkowski ain't going to the WWE. We'll see. 
You want a bet? I bet. Well, he even knows. <laughs> he, he, what's the reason why he's going to retire from football? Concussions, getting hurt. So why yeah. would he go to something that can make it even worse? It won't. You, yeah, what? He's going to run around like a fucking jackass and get paid. And Motorola is going to do all the work. Yeah. That's a stupid combination. Exactly. No shit, that's where they're going to do it. <laughs> see, it's, see, this is what we're Where have you been this whole podcast? Listen, it's stupid. It's stupid. Stop bringing up people that's not... No, no. This is the one. Yes, it's stupid. They're going to continue. That's what, that's what we're they're saying. They're going to continue being stupid. Listen, you know what? I, I ultimately agree with you. Ronda shouldn't be in the main event of WrestleMania, but she's going to be. She shouldn't be in none of that shit It's yet. her name. Who can, I don't, the bitch lost two MMA fights well, and she cries and quits. Hoping. And we're giving her a chance to dominate when you got people that bust their ass from NXT to go where they at now. And it's going to let some bitch come in because of her well, name. She has been training for a while. So here's she hoping. She ain't been training long with women that's in there now. No. But here's hoping that they put her up against Alexa Bliss or somebody that can carry that match and make stupid, it a good man. match. That's stupid. They no let, one's disagreeing, but just, that's... Just let people come off the street because they're famous and just go to the top. That's stupid. That's not fair for no. the people that bust their ass... The whole life just to get to the top. But Dolph, Ziggler, bring... Dolph Ziggler been in that business for a long time, and he has yet main event WrestleMania. But you got somebody who just came in because she cried because she lost two matches in MMA, and she gonna be to the top already because of her name. Same thing's gonna happen with Conor McGregor. Whatever, let's go. It's just, <laughs> just how WWE has always worked. It ain't always worked like that. You think of. Muhammad Ali, back in the day, because it happened, wanted to be in the main event of WrestleMania. They would have said no. They won't let him fight because he ain't a fighter. He's a yeah, fighter. He's not a wrestler. Mike Tyson. Mm-hmm. Mike Tyson was an enforcer. You think they actually going to let Mike Tyson wrestle with these they motherfuckers? Did. He didn't. Pretty sure he did. He did not wrestle. Pretty sure he threw some punches. He threw one punch and missed Shawn Michaels and Shawn Michaels fell. You Floyd really think- Mayweather. I witnessed it with my own two eyes. Yeah, he fought the big show with boxing gloves. He didn't wrestle. That was just a one-time thing because it was WrestleMania. Ronda Rousey's actually going to be in wrestling. She ain't serve her, She ain't pay her dues to serve her time to be up to the top like that, like everybody else did. I don't know. I think it's just everybody else you just said did that because of WrestleMania. They and did they ever come back? No. Here's hoping she's good. She ain't gonna be shit. She no mind. I'm I'm done. What do you think, Brian? <laughs> oh, I'm trying. God, you know I really try to turn my life around. I try not to be a negative person, but then we do this podcast, <laughs> and I realized. So you you hate Ronda being in WWE? Um, she should go to NXT. I don't hate her being in WWE. No, I, I think get. She should start from the bottom and make her way. Realistically, you think that would happen though? No, not okay. at all. That's just the way it should be. But life's not fair. Get a helmet. Life's not fair. Get a helmet. <laughs> Tell it to Mojarelli or Rob Ronkowski. There you go. He helmets. is not coming to WWE. Yeah, he I'm is. Right you know. Yeah. You know he was. You, I heard he's retiring from football. Yeah, he's going to retire because what? He's going into acting. Yeah, you can't get hurt. He retired from football because he's hurt. You you know how much money he spent on surgery? He have every freaking football every year, every season. So why would you go from one physical sport to another physical sport? I like the idea of every football, like every football he's ever caught. (laughs) He's (laughs) got surgery. surgery. Was, it, was he a receiver or was he a... He was like, a tight end. That's basically okay, blocking, yeah. you blocking, you receive. It depends what kind of offense you're running and stuff. I like that they got that guy to tell people not to eat Tide Pods. Yeah, it's true. I, I, I haven't seen the commercial, but Ooh. I heard about it. Gronkowski yeah. did like a commercial for Tide about not eating... Are them. you serious? The fucking laundry detergent. Yeah. I didn't even know that. I don't think you should have done that. You should just let people eat them. Yeah, fucking <laughs> Darwinism, man. Oh, I'm shit. all about that. Who's winning the ele- the elimination chamber match? Who gives a fuck? <laughs> You're gonna say the election. <laughs> I was like, no, <laughs> no. Is this the last Raw pay per view before WrestleMania? Uh, because you yeah. got fast land and is WrestleMania it, Roman Reigns. Who's going? Who's going to the women's elimination chamber? Oh, the women's. I thought you yeah. said. Yes. 
I thought you said the original. My bad. I don't even know. <laughs> Who's in it again? Oh my god. Sasha Banks, Bailey, Mickey James, Sonya Deville, Mandy Rose, and Alexa Bliss. Did you say Oscar? Alexa Bliss. Oscar's in, is Oscar versus Nia Jax. Okay. It's Alexa, Alexa Bliss. Bliss. That, this kind of sucks, right? Like, we already know no, it's Alexa. You know what's going to happen? This is going to be the shift to the Attitude Era. Going back. Alexa's going to win, but she's going to win because Braun comes in and helps. Braun levels all the other women. Yeah, that, that would be awesome. And Alexa wins. I would freaking cry of joy in this, but that's never going to happen. That she would... no, she gets, um, she gets like a, uh, it's a close two count. She kicks out, and his music hits, and he comes down. He rips the cage door open, and, and she hits him. And she's like, Braun, smash, and he just fucking levels them all, and she pins them. I like what you. I like one the way you, at a time. Yeah, hey. <laughs> It is a no disqualification match. I like how you think, Brian. Yeah. That would be great. That, that would, would be, awesome. be great. But you know what? The WWE Make wrestling sued. great again. But you know what? They'll be sued and there'll be protests all over fucking yeah. Connecticut if that happened. Well, wrestling yeah, and you know what? Right. Who gives a shit? Any publicity is good publicity. I think it's a little bit of a problem, actually. Who gives a shit? That's the problem. Right. Everyone gives a shit. And oh, yeah. we shouldn't care who gives a shit. They didn't care who gave a shit in the Attitude Era. Exactly. There it is. We found it. We found the problem. We figured it out. We so, care. They care that people give a shit. But they don't care that wrestlers, wrestling if fans... If enough promotion is going to threaten WWE, they go back to the Attitude Era. Nobody's threatening WWE right now. So they're getting soft. Because who's out there going to take it? But slowly do they know, here comes that New Japan train. Yeah. Here it comes. They found almost done building that bridge across the water. The uh, underground tunnel. I really hope, and I think they will, New Japan teams up with like ROH and PWG. Because that'll just help them. Because I think, I think wrestlers from there see what wrestlers that left to go to WWE see what they're doing. I think that could be a very serious contender to WWE is New Japan and ROH. Yeah. I'd love to see that happen. I will actually sit there for three hours and watch it. Um, the last ROH show, I think, they had really stepped up a lot of production. They got a big one in WrestleMania week in New Orleans. Kenny Omega versus Cody. That new fucking Wrestle Kingdom, that New Japan set was amazing. That was beautiful. That was, that was really incredible. That was wrestling. Almost, I, mean, I say WrestleMania worthy, it wasn't. But WrestleMania always has like roller coasters and shit and the it Statue depends. of Liberty it and unnecessary it things. <laughs> It depends what it is. And, and, and that's the only reason I like watching WrestleMania, just to see what it looks like. Yeah, absolutely. It's a spectacle. You know, the match, sometimes the matches are good, sometimes they're not. But what do we know? We, 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 we pay to watch it. And the men's elimination chamber match, it's going to be a seven-man elimination chamber match. So what does that mean? Is it going to be a triple threat at the beginning? Why, yeah. did, why, why is it seven? Why... Who did, who, who did? Okay, it's Roman Reigns, Seth Rollins, The Miz, Finn Balor, Braun Strowman, Elias, and John Cena. I thought I thought half of them got knocked out because they had matches to determine who goes. They them. had another match, a second chance match, and then Seth Rollins had a third second chance match. That's why I stopped watching Raw. Seth Rollins <laughs> really, 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 really wanted to be in Elimination Chamber, and Kurt said okay. So it was a seven-man elimination chamber match. Kirk, get the fuck away from him with that shit. Mm. Seth really, really, really wanted in. He Seth made it in. Seth, I heard Seth is really, really, really hurting. Yeah? Yeah. That sucks. I, heard, I read somewhere that he probably missed WrestleMania again. I just so. saw something where I guess he won tonight. Do you have the a match? The match? Yeah, I think okay, so. Okay, cool. Oh, he won a gauntlet match? I so he's he got hurt. good momentum going in. And they're all going to lose because Roman Reigns going to win, of course. Well, okay, dream scenario out of these guys, who do you want to face Brock Lesnar? Name it one more time. Roman Reigns, Seth Rollins, The Miz, Finn Balor, Braun Strowman, Elias, and John Cena versus Brock Lesnar. I'm going to give you two. Okay. Finn Balor or Braun Strowman. Okay. Um, I still say The Miz. Fuck The Miz, He had his, he had his wrestling. Uh, he he did. Him. That would be so entertaining, though. The Miz that versus Brock Lesnar. How would that even work? Because you know what? They're going to treat The Miz like Brock Lesnar treated Randy Orton. Quick and plus his ass over. Yeah, probably. Fuck The Miz. 
But what if the Miz somehow beat him? It's not gonna happen. You think they'll let be Ben? Crazy. You think they're gonna let the Miz fight for two belts? You think Brock would let him beat him? That's the best point. Yeah. <laughs> That's the only point, actually. <laughs> They're going to go out like, Brock, you're booked to lose tonight. He's like, all right, all right, yeah. yeah fuck you. He goes out there and just fucking kills. Literally, homicide in the ring <laughs> kills the Miz. Oh, that'd be sad. Probably pisses on him and then leaves. Because I could see Brock doing that. <laughs> I like Finn Balor versus Brock Lesnar. That's a very intriguing matchup. Elias obviously isn't ready. I don't know if Braun Strowman's ready for a main event. I don't know. Yeah, maybe. I think he is. I mean, I guess what, killing what, the beast would be... How ready you gotta be? Shit, the motherfucker just walks to the ring and kick ass. Yeah? yeah that's true. Do you think Brock's ready for these hands? <laughs> God. But it's a weird gimmick, right? Not really. <laughs> What if it's Braun Strowman versus Brock Lesnar and Alexa Bliss interferes and <laughs> hits him with the, the Bliss flip or whatever? Braun Strowman wins. That'd be crazy. And Sable yeah. come out and kick Alexa Bliss ass. <laughs> then you got King. And it becomes a mixed tag match. Oh, Teddy Long don't. comes out. Play it, play it, play it. Play it, play it. We're ready for a tag team you know, match. I, I see puppies. Oh, oh, King's back. Uh, so, yeah, I'm going to say Finn Balor. Who you got? Roman Reigns, Seth Rollins, The Miz, Finn Balor, Braun Strowman, Elias, and we John Cena. We all know who it's going to be anyway. John Cena? Randy Orton. <laughs> no, it's Roman Reigns. Randy Orton's not in that. I'm about to say, what the hell Randy Orton doing? He's not in that. Don't listen to me. I want to see Finn Balor. Just... Realistically, it's Roman Reigns. I want to see Finn Balor. I, yeah. I call two of them. Can like, I keep doing two or do I have to have one? Just, just one. Fuck y'all. <laughs> it, does, it doesn't fucking matter. I'm not going to remember. Yeah. It's all right. It's it, it really doesn't matter because we know who's going to win. Yep. Roman. Because they already got John Cena facing the Undertaker. I already saw a car for that somewhere. I like that. Uh, they literally had, they made a car where they, they got the Undertaker looking down on John Cena. I, I like that match. John Cena, then... I think John Cena about to retire. Who should, fa- who should face Undertaker otherwise? Like AJ? Kane. AJ's champion. No, yeah. Let, let Undertaker beat Kane so Kane can be done. I so think let John done. Cena beat Taker so Taker can be done. Nah. I ain't got a problem with that either, but... Yeah. Who, need, who needs to leave right now? Also, Kane. who wins in the John Cena versus Undertaker match? Of course the Undertaker gonna win because John Cena bought the whole ass. But it's John Cena. Oh my God. Can the Undertaker see him now? Is time that is up? like your favorite go to joke for John Cena. You can't see me. My time is now. And then the Undertaker comes out. He's like, I see dead people. And then he kills John. <laughs> and he fades away again in Margarita. Yep. All right, guys. Well, thank you for listening to this podcast. <laughs> <laughs> did, you, did you guys have anything else you wanted to add? Who else was wrestling in Elimination? I'm trying to stay There's positive. There's going to be more, but that was no, the card so far. Okay. Sorry, what, Brian? So I'm just trying to stay positive, so I don't have anything else to say. I mean, I, I'm apologize for getting all angry and stuff. That's okay. That's, what, that's what's entertaining on the show. No, it's not healthy for me. <laughs> Your heart going to burst. Because I take my anger back home and I'm start punching everybody I see. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> it's just stupid, but ain't no, you know what? They got me mad. That's what they want. We're talking about it. We have to talk about it as a fucking wrestling podcast. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just waiting for, I'm waiting for the next one. I'll yeah, be more positive sure on the next one. You go check out and subscribe to the <clears throat> Few True Villains podcast. That's our kind of nerdy general talk about whatever we want podcast. I ain't no nerd. Sure. Shut L- up, Ryan. Listen to the next episode and find out. <laughs> yeah. I'm not a nerd. Tripod. Tripod <laughs> my nuts. Uh, we're going to... We're not. I'm. I didn't go. These two are going to be discussing the LARP event they just went to, uh, uh, Amptgard. Yes. Uh, listen to that because it's going to be interesting. Going to give a little sneak peek of what you're going to talk about? No. No. <laughs> no apparently not. <clears throat> what? Uh, Working with you two is fucking hell because he says one thing and you say the opposite. <laughs> you know what? I'm looking at the time. Let's hurry up. Okay. 
Yeah, I'm ready for we'll sneak peek of the podcast. Um, it was nice and cool at night. N- nerds hit each other with foam sticks. All right. Well, thank you for listening to this podcast. Tripod. And find out why he keeps talking about being called tripod. Yeah. <laughs> it's not find... what you think. Yeah, You'll never you believe it. Click here to find out. We're going to talk about his third leg. Shut the hell up, y'all. <laughs> Go ahead, Jay. Thank you for listening to this podcast. You can find it on iTunes. Make sure you subscribe to us. Leave a comment on there. You can leave us a comment on our YouTube channel as well, where there'll be a YouTube Red-friendly version of this going up there. Uh, what? Are we doing that? What? A YouTube Red? Well, I have YouTube Red, so it goes on that. And then you can just listen to this. Oh, okay, yeah. That's right. Never mind. I get it now. Yeah, because they can like put it away in their phone. And... Yeah. I don't know what confused you there. Anyways, this is getting late. Excuse mm-hmm. Brian. Uh, okay, YouTube Red. And you can also listen to it on our website, futurevillains.com. That's F-E-W-T-R-U-E-V-I-L-L-A-I-N-S.com. You can find us on Twitter at Future Villains, on Facebook, Future Villains. You can find me on Twitter at Best in the Realm. Facebook, Best in the Realm Gaming. Instagram is Best in the Realm. Twitch.tv slash Best in the Realm. And on YouTube, Best in the Realm. Brooks just realized something. What's wrong? I know what's going to happen at WrestleMania for the women's title. What? Whoever wins, it's going to lose. Because Carmelo going to cash it in. in yeah, oh time. yeah. That's going to happen. She's either going to win or she's going to. She gonna... have to. She have to. I oh, I'm so. sorry. I, uh, you um, did that. That, 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 that. Gonna, I thought about Carmelo. We're going to, uh, <laughs> we're definitely going to do a WrestleMania prediction show. That'll happen. Go ahead with your social media stuff, Brian. Oh, you can find me on uh, Twitter at Brian25 or Instagram Brian1138. You can find me on Twitter at JeremyBrooks42, Instagram JBrooks42. Uh, you can find me in Walmart, it's Walgreens. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Thank you for listening, guys. <laughs> Damn. Thank you so much for all your support. And I do want to mention that we do have a Patreon now. If you go to patreon.com slash villains. You can help us get newer equipment, uh, get us some money so we can build a set in Brian's garage. So, <laughs> well, just being honest. So we can get no, better. So just live here and pay rent. Okay. Yeah, you guys can start paying rent. That's cool. <laughs> uh, just so we can get better cameras, better microphones. We need memory cards. We need batteries. We, we, we got kids. We don't got kids. These two got kids. I don't got kids. We got Thank kids. God. I got two cats and two dogs.